we're back. Welcome back to the story. I've forgotten what happened. Allison hasn't Crafty said much. Crafty goblins did everything together. Yeah. Until one day, when darkness overwhelmed the big wooden house in which they lived. Oh, I just got the notification Kelly is live right now. <laughs> so everyone go say hi to Dova darkness, Kelly if you can. Brother Goblin was forced to leave the forest. Beta oh, said the easy mode for behind. testing, since paying people to test is not dependable income in today's economy. True. Huh, okay. That makes sense. Ten years later, they were I could finally see it. reunited. And I don't together, really play demos or betas or anything around those lines, so... House. I'm not gonna be one of those people complaining about the betas. Because I don't, I don't do betas. I'd just rather play the game the or... Forest. and wait. If they're not gonna come out with it for a while, I'll just wait. Early access is the same. This is how the goblins yeah, true. found themselves alone in the woods, trying to discover why darkness had submerged the big wooden house. What is happening? Okay, well, good talk, game. Thank you for the recap. That didn't happen. This looks like a cute game. It's cute, but it's a little dark. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> Our mother tried to kill us. <laughs> oh my goodness. Tomorrow we should play Compass and North Star in the woods. Be sure to wear your hat then. <laughs> you be sure to wear your hat. <laughs> this is our mom who tried to kill us. <laughs> She's got some issues. <laughs> I tried to get All duff, right, duff who wants the ice mohawk. Cream? Me! Eat up. Our mother tried to kill us. That's cute. <laughs> Without a word, All right. she went out and buried the tiara in the ground beneath the sapling. And as the final scoop of dirt fell, the tiara felt truly gone. And with it, the final link to her old self. She could only go forward and find a new place for herself in this world. Where she was no longer truly a princess in a tiara and a beautiful gown, but a wan woman, alone in a deep and ancient wood. And so this is why they're so into like fantasies. Treasure. Their mom and used to read it to me. I don't like that story. There were no goblins, and it was depressing. We won't I feel read that. it again. I love you, mom. Not me. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Love you, Mom. So, you too. Tyler actually is transgender, and that's why we're assuming well and dream, my doves. the mom wanted to kill Tyler. The mom was like, couldn't, couldn't really come to terms that Tyler was transgender and trans transitioning. So it's a little extreme. Ollie. I, just, Ollie. I just couldn't imagine. I couldn't imagine trying to kill your son just because he's trans. Like, I. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, it sounds like a generational thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's very. It, uh, yeah. Extreme. I just. I, I've never. I've never met people like that. I've, no, I've always please. grew up in, like, cities where it's like. And even in my school, I was, like, so casual. It's so, like people like being Allison! so fed Allison! up about it like that. Allison, help! It. Oh, they have like a a mind connection thing. They can talk to each other. It's kind of weird. This is like the fantasy part of it. This is intense, man. I kind of left on a cliffhanger last time. <laughs> oh, are we gonna experience this from Allison's perspective? I killed mom. 
I still can't believe this, man. She killed her mom. And her frickin' brother took the blame. They were separated. God, like this sibling love in this game, man. Dang. I'm ready I'm waiting for the copyright strike. Come on, bring it on. of this game is so life is strange. Tyler's transformation. Let's go. by these moments. It's like zippling happiness, but like around such a dark theme. But they managed to keep it so light and happy. <laughs> what the fuck? Lens flares just come popping out. <laughs> super long playful montage after we just found out Allison killed her freaking mother chapter of our lives, you know? And instead, we spun off a whole miserable prequel trilogy. <laughs> Star Wars. Okay. No. We're not letting ourselves do this again. Come on. Up. My numbing labor is a great way to forget your troubles. Uh... Can't we just True. have coffee instead? No. On your feet, soldier. I do like to clean a lot when I am like super down. <laughs> Let's take a break from packing and what? sort out the furniture. Mm. If we get enough done, I'll drive you into town and buy you a gallon of ice cream. Mint chocolate chip, two gallons. Let's do this. Anything for ice cream, man. I feel it. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Goblin face is keep. Dollar sign is donate or sell. And trash can as well. Trash. By the way, <laughs> I cleared out most of the stuff from the bathroom this morning, but I left you the toilet. How very generous of you. Where are Everywhere I look, there's just stuff, stuff, and more stuff. Yes. Hello, ancient broken down machines. That will be the future owner's problem. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> so Tyler just put um, the trash post-it note on our mother's 
old do door. This. Keep trash cell. Are you talking about the table? The table looks alright. Would I keep it though? Eh. I don't like that corner, you know. Um. Uh, oh. This has been sitting in a damp house for ten years. No one wants to eat off it. Oh, I guess. I guess they. I guess they made me choose. Okay, I have a limit. Oh, let's go with another collectible. What's this doing down? Is that gum? Yeah. Oh, I guess that was probably goblins me. were here. <laughs> nice. Yay, we got a new collectible. All right, all right, all right, all right. What else we got? <laughs> I completely forgot we had a pet vole for a few days. Volcano. The thing Marianne actually knew what she was doing with injured wildlife. I guess it's finally time to take these pictures down. Yes, yeah. take them down. Still deciding what to do with them. I don't want them their happy memories. I don't want them. I don't want them. I don't think I do either. You look cute here. That's not me. I right. Mean, it is, but. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry, but what? But not really. Yeah. I get it. It's just weird. I'm seeing myself like that again. Damn. I didn't think a picture could throw me like this anymore. I'm sorry. That sounds really rough. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm like a thousand times better. But I've got a ways to go before I'm comfortable taking my shirt off. Which is why I'm scheduling my top surgery as soon as we sell this house. No more putting a binder on every morning. God, that sounds fucking amazing. Yeah, totally. You go, Tyler. Just so you know, I'll be there to help out when you do. Whatever yes, you need. Yes, you go, Allison. Thanks. All right. What's your verdict, Ronan? You know what? I'll keep a few. To remind us how far we've come. Yeah, just keep like one or two. It looks like Eddie? I still don't know Eddie's relation oh, to us. Uncle, I love uncle. this one. Duh. Uncle. Why do I look so pissed? I remember loving this. Maybe because Marianne was sticking a camera in your face? Come on. Oh, how do I do this again? Shit. I'm, I will remember this. Ugh. Gross stain is gross. <laughs> uh, what happened? Some um, unfortunate spillage that brought about the end of indoor tea parties. I, remember? I hid the stain with my toys, forgetting that they would eventually be picked up. Brilliant move, Ronan. You were no better. I was scared. I was so afraid that Marianne would ground me for the rest of my life. But she didn't, right? No. I remember her saying that that sufficiently adventurous play I can't ensures remember that how to remember <laughs> and that it wasn't a big deal but still no more tea parties inside wait there we go there we go where it where is it there it is now i'm remembering okay we got there lasagna lasagna finish your salad first thank you tessa you're a lifesaver tessa's a lifesaver oh, worry about it they're just leftovers from the restaurant. What about Volcano? She needs to eat her lunch, too. Oh, you're quite right, love. Uh, she can have my corn. Allison looks so displeased by this memory. Here you go, little one. Don't feed the Here fish corn. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Looks like Tessa didn't have that broom up her ass back then. Dang, I got another memory? Come on, honey, smile, like Allison. Now hold up your fish. It's not my fish anymore. Allison stole it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess that's why you were mad about it, Tyler. You won't blame me. You got a my fish sister, stolen from you. The fish thief. <laughs> you were just being bratty. Was I, though? Yes. All I did was help clean it when we were out on the porch. Eddie had to force you to- That's a nice face. I wonder if my horse figurine is still in there. Mm, you're what now? You're what now? You know, my blue toy horse. With the kind of melted face. The one you stole from me. What? That never happened. 
Yeah, it did. I won it at that little Halloween carnival they had at the school every year. You grabbed it and hid it in the pot. Then when I tried to get it back, you said there was a snake inside too. Whatever you say, horse face. We have the same <laughs> face. Alright, what else do I need to remember? Oh, I freaked up. Ready now. Take your time. He's not gonna jump up and do the cha cha. Do the cha cha? I want to clean the fish too. It's not even your fish. You didn't catch anything. Ugh. Only because you wouldn't stop talking and scared all the fish away. Keep your eyes on what you're doing. Allison, when we're done with this half, you can take over and do the other one. That sounds fair? Yes. Mm -mm. You're right. I was kind of being a brat. Yeah, but all kids are brat at that age. Come on, Tyler. Don't beat yourself up, man. Alright, what are we keeping? What are we trashing, chat? Hmm. Crummy table and wobbly chairs. Just trash it. We ate way too much expired food on this table. It looks like a really nice table, but wobbly chairs, man. Oh. I'll pass. What's that smell? What's that smell? Smells like delicious garbage. Ooh, yes, delicious Wait. indeed. <laughs> or it could have been Stinky Pants Sam. Sam. <laughs> oh, stinky Pants Sam. <laughs> Come on now. Sam. Smell getting a skunk out of our barn. Be nice. Sam and our mother what had a thing. Is she okay? <laughs> sure is. She just went hunting for food and couldn't get back out. All she needed was a little nudge to get her on her way. Sam Kansky, hero of skunk kind. I remember being super impressed by. You hungry? <laughs> we have a whole lot of nothing. We got uh, apple juice. I was it looks like. Maybe you can make or wine cooler. Pickle ketchup. ketchup? I'm sorry, sir. We are all out of pickles today. Could I interest you in a ketchup-only sandwich? Looks like there's still a bottle back here. Ew. Says the guy who used to eat peanut butter with ranch. Ew. Oh. Peanut butter and ranch. <laughs> Dump cake ingredients every day, please. <laughs> I guess we start making our own recipes. Ancient appliances, you are staying here. Yeah. Oh, that oven looks in okay enough shape. No way. No. We are not moving the oven. No. No way, man. Keep the oven. It looks dusty anyway. Um, let me go upstairs. See if there's anything we can trash or keep. And what do you know? More stuff. Foot soft. What? There's a paper plane stuck in the ceiling light. Maybe it has <laughs> a secret message from our past selves. Find something to knock it down. Hmm. I could use that ball. What ball? It's too far. Forget it. I don't want to break something. No, we gotta get that paper plane. Baloney. <laughs> Guess who I found? Baloney. Alley belly baloney? Why, yes. I would love to have a party with you. Again. For the third time today. That's weird. Okay. We should gather up all our old toys and give them to charity. Hey, did you finish packing upstairs? Nope. Those paddles are pretty cool. Dibs. Dang, he took dibs. Oh, there's the ball. Come on, come hey, on. Hey, Tyler. Pays for horses, Allison. <laughs> okay. Let's see if I can still do this. Come on, we Five can do it. Says you miss. Oh, let's go. Where's my five bucks, Tyler? Oh, my God. Wow. Can I pick it up? This Thank you. Unreal. What is it? Allison's uh, big, fat loser. You're no better at insults <laughs> than you were at 11. Why mess with perfection? 
How'd you put it down? What's in it? I'm curious. Tyler, tell me. I'm like racing down the stairs for this freaking paper plane. Allison, I asked you to clean up the coffee table three times already. <sighs> no, you did Oops. not. I forgot. All right, I'll clean it up. Thanks. While you do that, I'll Why check out the Why can't you furniture. just do it for me? I'm guessing you want to keep the coffee table? Mm, might, might as well. Uh, yeah. Is that okay? Sure. I'm not really planning on bringing furniture to Denali. And if I need a base in Juno, you'll have all the furniture I need. How very non-committal of you. <laughs> all right, I'll keep it. That's so weird. I really like that armchair. I like the mold smell. Maybe sit in it for a few minutes and see if you get used to the mold smell first. Uh, on second thought, never mind. <laughs> Trash. Another one for the landfill. What am I doing with this? All right, can I leave this yet, please? And finally. Sir I hate to say it, but the couches get a one-way ticket to the dump. No protest here. I think I have permanent knee damage from a decade of bumping into the corner of those <laughs> I guess things. I just keep doing well, this. Well, then that's <laughs> it for the living room. You are relieved from your duties. There we go, I can finally leave. Thank you, Tyler, relieving me from my duties, finally, man. All I wanted to do was freaking just get this freaking paper plane, bruh. You won't let- wow, I just came all the way down here for a paper plane that I can't hey, even Allison, get. come take a break with me. No. I still gotta go upstairs, my guy. I barely explored up there. Okay, man. Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. Hey, Tyler! How does five little monkeys going? <sighs> Will this ever stop feeling so weird? Dearest Ollie, how are you? I'm in the boathouse and everything is going very well. I'm writing this letter to formally invite you to my tea party. I will prepare tea and cookies. You can meet my dearest friend, Baloney, who I know you will love. Please come this afternoon at 4 p.m. Dear Allison, thank you so much for the invitation. Everything is good here, too. No beavers in sight, though. I will be there at 4.15 p.m. Because I need to make sure to feed the bo birds or mom will go crazy. See you soon, Sir Ollie. Very cute, very cute. Oh my goodness. Uh, others may not understand the laughs that we have together and love we share for each other, but I know whatever happens, every goblin has a twin. Do do do. Do, 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 do. Collectibles, collectibles, any collectibles. Oh god, that's way too dark. Congratulations, you found the map that'll lead you to no mishap. Follow the trails of Twinkling Stone or you'll escape the unknown. Okay. Thank you. So long, trusty bunk beds. Yeah, sell that shit. So, you gonna come back down to help me or what? I'm working on it, Tyler. I got I got things to look at, you know? things to do. I'm working on it. I just want to make sure I'm not missing any collectibles. It's a bathroom. Thanks for clearing out those cabinets. Not my pleasure. Not my pleasure. Oh, ew, ew, ew. Rev and Sarah. Just trash oh, it. I can say ah. Uh, I remember cutting off shaving cream beards with these. <laughs> yeah. Oh goodness. The heck? What about that dresser? If you want your towels to rot, go for it. This looks nice. Fair enough. Junkyard. Looks kind of nice, though. It looked kind of nice, though. But honestly, I think both of these characters just want a fresh new start. They're going to new places. And I think that for their sake, they should just trash everything. Get rid of that old time, start 100% fresh. They're in a time in their life. Please, sticky note. They're in a time of their life, you know, where 
they're like in their 20s, like early 20s, you know, they could get away with starting new. Hey, Still have like your whole life ahead. Starting the fire again? Yeah, I'm gonna boil some water. You want something to drink? I don't know, do I? Choose coffee? Choose tea? Coffee? Would you uh, rather have instant coffee or instant coffee? Hmm. Nah, sorry. I'm more of a tea person. Get it? Tea? As in... Mm-hmm. Wow. How long have you been waiting to make that joke? Longer than I'm willing to admit. <laughs> <sighs> Jesus. I am so glad Eddie came through on my caffeine. Shh. Did you hear that? What the heck was that? The Ice King is sending us a warning. What? For your punishment, said the Ice King, you shall be banished from the forest. And if you dare come back before the new moon, you shall feel my anger in your gut. Hear it in the wind. Whoosh! <laughs> Do you think the Ice King would really react that way? He may be intimidating, but he's always fair and never mean. Oh, yeah, he, you're right. Maybe he tells the goblins to help the people they hurt instead? Great idea, sweetie. Why don't we think about it at dinner? I'll put everything away for safekeeping while you go wash your hands. Can you put them in the binder so they don't get stained? Of course, love. All right, let me grab Seems it. Like my dark and twisty version was better. We put so many hours no? into that book. Yeah, our binder was full of extra drawings and incomplete stories. I think they're all still in the kitchen drawer. You should go take a look. Okay, so I had to go through all that. Uh... Oh, Tyler has to open it. Come check this out. Allison's first drafts. <laughs> right. Such Those an artist. Didn't contribute at all. Come on. I know you did. <sighs> Can't believe she kept all these. You'd think putting them on the fridge for a couple of weeks would have been enough. You know how we thought of ourselves as the goblins? Did you ever get the sense that maybe Marianne was the princess in the stories? Uh, yeah. She called her bedroom the princess's sanctum, and she was all alone in the woods, in this house, yeah. until we showed up. Dang. She was. Alone, but with a few friends who helped her along the way. What are you doing? Research. So, if Marianne was the princess, then who were all the rest? And here we go. Oh, come on. Humor me. <gasps> What was it? The, 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 okay, so who's in our life? Okay, who do we have? We have Eddie, we have Sam, and we have Tessa. Who would be, there was one of them that wouldn't let you go without food. That has to be Tessa, because Tessa would constantly feed us. I'll have to look back at the book. Yeah, Tessa, Sam, Eddie. Tessa, Eddie, and then Sam. There's Sam's on the end. I think swap. Oh, I see what I'm supposed to be doing. All right, let's look at the book. It said that um, it said the pelican had served her from never opening beak, and the air was filled with a wrinkling fairy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Organized Stewart. Okay, organized by the most stalwart and far-sighted pelican attentive. And the old bear with his claws were sharp. Um, crap, it goes more into details about who's who. Princess open. Instead, there was a torch revealed. Someone wants to make sure I don't get lost in the woods when it's dark and I want to see right from wrong. Right from wrong. How did. Crap, how did. This is so puzzling now. Uh, the third box was. Um. Provide him money if it was for something that the bear truly needed. Okay, that's Tessa, 100%. Who 
who was that? Frick, how did the first, how did we open the door? What does the door look like? Someone wants to make sure I'm protected if I'm under threat. Sam seems like, well, Eddie could be that too. I don't know what's the difference between Sam and Eddie. We don't know them that well. I mean, Eddie, he's a police officer, but Sam's more at home. So I don't know enough about Sam. Okay, well, Tessa is, um, I think Tessa's the pelican. I think. They won't let me swap it. Oh, maybe I have to. Hello, game? Hmm. Pelican. She was the most generous one. That's Tessa. Yeah. 100%. There was always a catch. That's Tessa. 100%. So we should swap you these. Go here. The bear was the most helpful one. He was always around. Stalking her? What? No. I mean, Sam? He was kind of <laughs> always there, lurking. Sam. You done? <sighs> Poor Moose. Really didn't do him justice. Hmm. Justice? Kind of ironic, huh? Considering yeah. He was the lawful good one. Yeah, okay. The law isn't really just. Okay, we're 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 done. We're done, yeah. Yeah, we're done. Are we not? Did I get it wrong? Should I tell? I think I'm done. This is what I'm I got, sure? Tyler. Yes, I'm sure, I'm sure. How do you like them apples? You know, I think you might be onto something. What about these guys? I don't see them being real life people, or this one. These specific human attributes you have assigned to these forest animals are truly thought provoking. Indubitably. What the heck was that about? Yep, totally Marianne. Why a princess, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why not a queen? She hated authority. Yeah. She but been not enough to be a ruler. princess? Oh, wait. Who's this? I missed that. I missed that. Okay, we got a memory. You better hurry, or the Mad Hunter will catch us! I thought it's a Mad Hatter. It's like Alice in Wonderland? <laughs> what's... What's going on? I... I don't know. Is he here? Is he really here? I'm scared. Go away! Yeah! Go oh, back goodness. to the forest! God, that was so bad. I forgot about that. Was that was so cringe. We've been pretending he was there. And then, suddenly he was. That was the only time that happened, right? Allison, wait, it felt way too real. It was us pushing our imagination way too far. Great, Hello? Sam Kansky, Grandmaster of Bad Timing. We're not done with this conversation. Okay, fine, Tyler. Same Morning, time, Sam. Well, hi, goblins. I it's ran into goblins. Chief Brown, who said you were. Starting to clean up on the house this morning, so uh, I kind of figured you might need some supplies. Thank That's... you, Sam. Thank you. That was very thoughtful. Oh, uh, also got something for you, Tyler. Every man needs a good knife. There you are. Thanks. Yeah. Good. Good. Yeah. Oh, and well, that's before awkward. I forget, <laughs> well, the lady of the house. It was your mom's favorite recipe. Still make it darn near every week. Think of her every it's time. It's just fish, carrots, and celery is what it looks like. Uh, thanks. What a recipe. But we don't have a stove. Still no electricity. Oh, oh yeah. Dang. Fuse box is busted. <laughs> Just another thing I've been meaning to put back together around here. Where is it? I can take care of it. Oh, I don't doubt you can. But, uh, I've been kicking this thing back to life for the last 20-some years. I'll give you a hand. All right. Box is in the barn. Follow me. We'll be right behind you. 
Well, it's nice he gave us the recipe, I guess. We have another recipe to add to our collection. Well, I guess old bears can learn new tricks. <laughs> yep. Come on. Let's go get our electricity back on. Yeah, come on, man. We gotta have electricity. So, um, how's school? I graduated already. Yeah. Outdoor studies. Oh, outdoor studies. Oh, I didn't well, know that. That's good cool. Good thing I came along when I did. I you wish know, I had a major I like that. This here barn for your mama. Wait, he built the barn for mom. You really helped her out, huh? Now you know, just a few chores here and there. As I was glad to help your mother. She. No. I can never bring myself to leave her high and dry. Anyways, let me find that darn key. Where's the key at? Wait. Wait, Sam. You have more of our keys? <laughs> yeah. The one for the barn's called a railroad key. See, it's got this special tip that you can. Fascinating. I'll take that off your hands now. Well, I, uh, figured I might still need to do some maintenance, so, uh... Nope. We're good. Wow. Thank you. Sam, Fair you warning. gotta let go, man. a bit temperamental. Haven't you been taking care of this place? You didn't oil the doors? What? You think I just hang out here all day or something? Yeah. <laughs> here, son. Give me a try. Good. Okay, when you twist it as far as you can to the left, give it a nice little jerk. No oh, shit. Out the door. The handle went off. Oop. It's okay, it happens. Alright, let's get inside here. Alright. Fuses go into plugs. Should be easy enough. Seems good. Very neat. I know, alright? Took us a little problem solving, but I got I got there. I got there eventually. That's the gun that our mom tried to kill us with. You damn fool. Everything okay? You, uh, you two look like you got this all in hand, so, um. Uh... Awkward? Sam just hit some sort of trigger Bye. emotion. That's so awkward. Sam's so outspoken. What was, was that about? Yeah, that was weird. It's about the gun. Was it Sam's? I wonder why Sam got so upset. Oh, he probably forgot he was all out of bourbon. <laughs> That's funny, Tyler. Oh, well, something about it. Huh, look at this. I think this is where she made toilet paper tubes, rope, cardboard. She was so crafty. And she could draw and write and take pictures. She could have been an artist instead of just locking she, herself up out here. She basically was an artist. Fredo rep. What's that? Ew, what? Ew. Ew. No. Spill it on you. Ew. I sense a story. Well, if by story you mean using it at fire. What are we going to do with this wreck? I just keep cutting them off. I'm like, I don't have enough time to listen to all this. Be my guest. Yeah, you it can sure make... It sure looks like a pile of junk to me. You can Where make you money from junk? it. I see dollars. Hey there, little buddy. Ew, it's a spider. If we end up living together, you should know my house has a no spiders rule. Well, in my house, we don't kill them. Ugh. You can take them outside then. It depends on a spider if I kill it at home. Because my mom was like, listen, spiders are good with killing that. Stash. Which is true. Blueberry, blueberry, salmonberry. Huh. Does canned food really expire? I mean, it's airtight, yeah. right? Uh, 
not going to be the one to test that out. Those have definitely gone bad. As far as I'm concerned, they always were. But like, if it's a big, big spider, no way, Jose. Huh, look at this. I think this is where she made all her toys. I need to examine this. Just didn't know if there's anything I missed. Allison, do you know who this is? What did you find? Do you know who that is? Uh, yeah. That's Carol, Eddie's mom. Oh, Eddie's mom. I've seen other pictures of her, but never this one. Man, look at Brown. And Marianne. She looks really happy. Can I? Careful, the glass is Ow. broken. <laughs> Are you okay? That was just awkward. It stings. Let's go see Mom. But she'll get mad. You weren't even supposed to be here. Oh. Ooh, they snuck in. Come on, it's gonna get infected. We're just gonna follow the memory. I, I don't want to. She said not to disturb her and Eddie. Not to disturb her and Eddie. Where are you going? I see. Yeah, it's very different. She was around. Emily, Eddie, how could you do this to me? Shh. What? Look, I had to make that call. What? What are they talking about? What? I can't figure out what's Is going Eddie on. Is Eddie like? I don't know, but were they a thing? I remember that whatever Eddie had to do, whatever that call was about, it was tearing him up. Tearing him up? He was being a total cop. And Marianne got pissed and threw him out. <gasps> they were a I'm thing. I'm gonna show you what I remember. There, by the house. Okay, Tyler, what do you remember? I feel like Tyler has a better memory than us. <laughs> I had to make that call. I was just following the law. Oh, yeah? And this little visit right here? What would the law say about this, huh? Look, I didn't have to come out here, but I did. You're a goddamn hypocrite. Get out of here. Marianne. <sighs> I said get out. I need more context. Out. Ooh, she got a she got scary. What? She didn't throw the picture at him. Are you sure about that? He was being a complete dick. Wait, How did she you throw be a sure? picture? We were at him? eavesdropping. We could barely see a thing. What do you think happened then? What do I think happens? Oh god, not one of these again where I have to decide who's right about this. Look. I had to make that call. I was following procedure. What I'm legally required to do. Then why are you here? Pretty sure this isn't procedure. I wanted you to hear it from me. Please, leave. Mary Ann. I'm sorry. Oh, she dropped the picture. Who do I believe was How do Mary we keep remembering the same thing so differently? It was a long time ago, and well, memory is a tricky thing. Wait, when did that happen? I, I'm not sure. I think it was the exact same day she attacked you. That's what I thought. <gasps> Uncle Eddie said he hadn't seen Marianne for weeks. Yeah, that was bullshit. And what was all that about following the law? What was he doing here exactly? I don't know. I don't have enough context. He must have had his reasons for not telling us. Look, I know he took care of you. But that doesn't make him incapable of lying. I can't see him being that cold with Marianne. Even if he was being a cop. I mean, I can, but... Who knows? I guess memory is a tricky thing, huh? Who do I believe? You know, I... Would Marianne really throw a picture? Is Tyler's m memory... Marianne was angry? She's Allison's... Marianne was sad? Get out! Get out of here! 
gonna help. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do. Last time I chose Tyler's memory and we didn't get much from it. I'm gonna choose Allison's this time, but I'm more inclined to believe Allison's just because Marianne was extremely sad the night Mom, that she tried job, to kill Tyler. I need you to go before you get in trouble. Please just get out of here. Like it just it doesn't seem believable because I couldn't imagine Eddie just leaving because she's like, oh, like I'm sad, get out of here. Right. Like I Zay Brown really felt bad life. about whatever he came out to tell her. Uh, please tell it was me. Still the day she attacked us. He still lied. Now what? We go and get a straight answer from him. Oh, goodness. This is awful. Right now? Yes. I'll go get my car keys. I really hope I made the right decision, because last time I did it. what will these mountains of trash do without us? Fuck the trash. Oh, goodness. Oh, I hope I made the right decision. <laughs> Man, I can't believe Brown lied. I mean, I may not be the guy's biggest fan, but he's always talking about the truth and the law and shit. Do you have to be so happy about it? What? I know you've been waiting for something like this. Something that proves Eddie's an asshole. Allison, but worrying about it is time. really not cool. Allison? I don't like Allison in this game. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Just a sec. I'm parking the car. She's really cool, but she's very wishy-washy like i think like, i feel like she's loyal but like she's just very opinionated she loves to voice her opinions all the time i'll just go stretch my legs then no just give me a sec i think she's just a little naive i feel like this tyler tyler's like i don't have time for What's people's bs and allison's hi, hi. like oh I i'm with people who feed me BS, and that's oh, fine. That's amazing. I don't know. Uh, just... When? They're just in the area for a couple of days, so they'd like to come by day after tomorrow. Oh, uh, uh, I'm not sure it'll be ready. Hun, this guy is very motivated, but I know he's looking at other properties. Not like you've had people breaking down the door. I appreciate that, but we've kind of got a lot going on over here. <sighs> Did I mention? Let's do it. It's not the right time. Let's do it. We gotta move. Do it. Yeah? Yep. Great. I'll set it all up and uh, send you the details. Later, hon. <laughs> Our boss what is for me. looking to win out here, Tom? The bears? Right. What the hell? Dee and I did that trail a couple years ago. We drank ice cold beers when we reached the summit. So I actually like this chapter just a little more right now because I already feel like there's so many choices we're just making right off the bat. The artist really nailed this one. Dorian Key. Kind of rings a bell. Yeah, that sounds kind of familiar. Dorian. Hmm. Looks like you found a nice spot. We've been Ooh. here before, right? This is pretty. I feel like I've been here before. Have so, you? Tina? Tina West, our realtor. Oh, that Tina. What'd she need? Well, we have an interested buyer. Tina's gonna show him the house day after tomorrow. Oh, great. Apparently he'd be paying cash, but he's just in town for a few days, so. Mm. I mean, we're not signing anything in blood. Yeah, it's just a showing. Yeah, they're just gonna come by. I know. If they want it, they'll take it. Look, we both need this money. Yeah, and it'll come take on. at least a few weeks, right? There's plenty of time to figure out all this Marianne stuff. Yeah. It's fine. You did it. It's done. Let's move on. Tyler's so upset. <laughs> Tyler, what so the frick? You. Tyler doesn't you know talking. what he wants. Yeah. I feel I'm not like happy that. your foster father fucked up. Oh yeah? Because you sure sounded like he it. He hid information about Marianne. I know. You just don't have to rub it in. I get it. 
You're always gonna side with him over me. Come on, that's not Allison, fair. you are. Then why do you keep doing it? This town, these people, they're just memories to you. But it's my home, Tyler. My friends, my family. And as that's much as I too. want answers, I'd rather not lay waste to my entire life to get them. You seem pretty eager to ditch all those friends and family, Allison. Apparently a cash offer is all it takes. I'm ready to move on. Yeah. But that doesn't yeah, mean I, I want to burn every bridge on my way out. I'm so conflicted. I, f I get both perspectives. I get... <laughs> gonna sulk all day? Like this view? And you warn me about this? Tyler, come on. I'm, I'm gonna call Tyler out because he is a little sulking. But I don't blame him, so. Are we'll you planning see. to solve all Good day? Good writing, then. <laughs> yeah. We'll find out. Jesus. I feel like we're eight again. Anything else? About the house? You, know, you still want to live in the wild? Come on, help me out. Come on, Tyler. Help me out here. Why do you shut people out like this? You're literally talking inside my head. Not sure how I could shut you out even if I tried. You know what I mean, Ty. Oh, did he shut me out? Oh, it's snowing. They're admiring the snow. <laughs> hey, you feeling this? Found you! North Star! Okay, now you're the star and I'm the compass. Okay, and don't cheat. I know you were sending me fake hints last time. I did not. Yes, you did. Okay, okay, I won't do it again. What did we get from that? You were always accusing me of cheating. Because you totally did. Dang, we're already an hour That's into this cool chapter. Game. Guessing where you were just by feeling what you felt. Uh, we look like little freaks. Someone else would play with us. <laughs> no one else could play it with us. That was the beauty of it. For real? You never wanted any other friends? No, not really. I mean, we had each other. That was enough for me. Hey, I really am sorry I gave Tina an answer without talking to you first. Yeah, that's. I wish that's I had okay. the option to talk to Tyler. You probably made the right call. I did. You were right to call me out earlier. I was being a jerk about Eddie. I'm all for enjoying the wins as they come. But maybe not at the expense of my father figure. I'll try my best. Thank you, Tyler. See, Tyler? See, what did I... This is this is my thing. Why I don't like Allison. What did I hear in that? Tyler said, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm also sorry for this. Allison said, thanks. Allison, you could apologize. I mean, she did. She was like, "Yeah, sorry, I should have talked to you first, But like, you should have said, "Sorry for giving you lip." <laughs> I don't know. I just, I feel like Tyler's just more. He's more real than Allison, in my uh, through my perspective. What are you doing over here, Tyler? Hey, look what I found. Place is dark. O A. What does that mean? Aha. Oh, Ollie and Allison. Here. I knew we'd been here before. <laughs> he claimed it as part of the Ronin Kingdom. And it still is. All it needs is a little update. A tea. We need a tea. What are you doing? What I wanted to do back then, but I didn't have the guts. What is it? Oh yeah, there. we do have the knife. Looking better already. You're right. Way better. Can I see it? Will you will you pan to it or something? There we go. Yeah, tea, tea. Here we go. I knew I needed the tea.
So, what's the plan? How are they not freezing? We go inside and calmly ask Eddie why he was there that day. All right. Let's try to let him get his side of the story out, okay? Uh huh. Yes. Feed me the lies, oh, and then yeah. I'll let you know what I know. I understand, Mr. Tell Barrow. me the truth. I'll be sure to let him know. Yes, I have it all written Yay, down. Yay! Now we're Tyler. Have a good day, Mr. Barrow. Morning, Hi, Missy. How do you get stuck working reception? Rose called in sick this morning. I'm covering for her while I try to get my paperwork. National Guard, join us today and get up to 100% college tuition. Ooh. Tyler, Tyler, Denise, Denise, Tyler. Hi, Denise. Wilson, could you tell Officer Vincenzi that I'll be? Oh, good morning, Allison. I would like a collectible. Hi, Uncle. Why do I not see a collectible? Doctor Torres' statement. No need for Vincenzi to come back to the station. Evacuation map. He doesn't seem like he's in the best of moods. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Let's just go walking through everybody's stuff. <laughs> missing, missing, Tyler, missing. You don't have to whisper. You're in my head. <laughs> right. Apparently, Eddie's not in a great mood, so what we said outside goes double. Oh, hello, kids. Hello, middle aged adult. All right, nice uh, police academy photo. A few days? That's optimistic. It feels like every time I figure out a door. Oh boy. Fire drills. Everybody's favorite way to slack off. Hey, is that your desk? Huh? I didn't think so. Come on. Hey. Right. <laughs> Sorry. I was just Stop reading the, the fire drill. You said your daughter was with you during the incident? Yes, she was. I'll need her information too. Can you give me her name and date of birth? Okay. You said that I Mailbox message. bandit investigation confirm locations. It's like a very faint slimmer of a guy, and it kind of looks like Sam. This mailbox was broken into. Waiting on a new phone. They made me pay extra for shipping. The lock was smashed to frick, and there wasn't nothing in there. I guess toe down? Toe down in the street, alias for Jervis. Swallow none to myself and Officer Greggs. Informally less known address in the apartments. Copy said that he made it all night prior to the, and heard nothing. Rose makes some kind of excuse if I write down the recommendation for her son, tell her that has nothing to do with doing her job. Sealing my mail may not seem like much to you, but getting away with crime makes a criminal more bold. How soon before you are after the mailbox killer? I'm a surgical resident. Oh wait. Well, listen, we Was really that oh, there's any after a 24-hour shift. Did you need something, Allison? Uh yeah. Tyler? Shall we? Morning, Chief Brown. Good morning, Tyler. Hey, could we talk to you in private? It's a little urgent. I'm sorry, this is not urgent second, compared to his job, Allison. <laughs> What's going on, you two? <laughs> we had a few more questions so about irritated. our mother. Look, now's not the best time. Well, maybe we can come back later then? Excuse me. Come on. Guys, I'm understaffed today. I've got a receptionist out sick, an officer dealing with personal issues. I need to finish taking this woman's statement and I don't have time to chat right now. We were just hoping for some answers. Well, I don't know what more you think I'm going to say. I already told you everything. I need to get back to this complaint. Sorry, guys. Yeah, what the heck? He just talk to him when he's off his oh, shift. I hate when he's stubborn like that. So what now? We get the truth ourselves. Well, he's obviously not going to give us the truth. Yeah, he was go going to. Ourselves. Why do you think they'd stash her file? I don't know. The archive room? Maybe Eddie's office? Wait. You're not seriously thinking of breaking and entering a police archive. Go big or go home. I'm just... 
through over there. Nothing. Alright? Uh yeah, everything's fine. I thought the We're bathroom just, uh, was that way, sir. I was just telling Tyler where the upstairs bathroom is. Tyler, help me out here. Oh, uh, yeah. Toilet emergency. Lake water, you know. Mother nature's juice cleanse. There's a bathroom just past the break room. Oh. Behind you. First door on your right. Forget it, Tyler. There's no way we're getting upstairs out in the open like this. It's too suspicious. There must be another way up. There was a fire drill notice on Vincenzi's desk. Are there any kind of fire exits? Oh my god. Why didn't I think of that? Lobby, now. Full details of your morning with me, Dr. Torres. Please wait in line. Thank All you. Right. There. Fire exit. It opens up to a staircase on the side of the building, but it'll definitely be locked from the inside. If one of us were to create a diversion, the other could slip upstairs and open the door. And since you're the troublemaker, I nominate you as the one to make a scene. Wait. Really? <laughs> I'm okay with that. Alright. Uh, not really. I'll do it. Not really. No. Right. Let's go. Alright, so how do I create a diversion? Oh, no. I f I've s I help, I've fallen, and I can't get up. Oh, I thought he would yell at me for being too close to the desk. <laughs> Alright. How should I create a diversion, y'all? <gasps> Collectible? What about it? I could tip it over. It's kinda messy, but sure. Nah, never mind. That's not enough. That's not enough. We need something bigger. I have to go to the bathroom, remember? What? They won't let me go to the bathroom now? <gasps> I could say that I know something about the killer! Or, sorry, the mailbox murderer, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I don't... Hey, Eddie. Um, I know a couple of things. Oh, hey, Eddie. I, I want to... No, no, no. If I turn the lights off, that's just stupid. How would I even explain that? What about those missing people posters? Yeah. I can pretend I've seen someone. Yeah. yeah. I, work I think that would work. Let's do that one. I want to do it. Huh. Officer, I, I think I saw her. I saw that girl. Oh, which one? Stella Reyes. I'm positive I saw her when we stopped to get coffee on the way in from Juno. At Tommy's, right off the Marine Highway. Oh. Uh, yeah, I don't think that was her again. Stella Reyes's body was found about 50 miles south of Anchorage a couple of weeks ago. Oh, man. Oh, no. Yeah, I, uh, I forgot to take that poster down. I'm sorry. Tyler. Shut up, Allison. I'm trying here. Alright, I got nothing from this. That's. I, I could break their machines or something. I... Here, I'll, I'll just drop these. I don't know what else to do. <laughs> this isn't gonna do nothing, but. I failed the first time. Oh, Jesus, Tyler, what happened? Sorry, I wasn't looking where I was going. Just. Leave that there. You mean to tell me that actually freaking worked? Oh my god. Alright. I'm in position. What now? Turn right when you exit the station and follow the side of the building. The staircase will be right there. Alright, turn right once I exit the station. You head now? I need a smoke. <laughs> yeah, I need a smoke. You should think about quitting. Only gets harder the longer you do it. Yeah, I know. While you're at it, get your sister to stop too. Oh. Alright, so it's right. Winter hair. I s okay. By the door. 
I just wanted to say, um, wait, is it this one? No. I just wanted to say that I'm going for a smoke so that way if I came back it wouldn't be too weird. That was a close one. Quick, get in. Oh god, what did I just do? You took control of your destiny. Own it. Is this his office? We are totally breaking and entering. What's this Looks about? Looks like this is where Brown keeps all his personal mail. Looks like he's working with the Office of Child Services on the case. None of our business. He catches us in here. There's no turning back now. Why would he be talking to child services for you a You applied to a matter? summer drama program back in 2009? I did, but they rejected me. Michael and I were supposed to go together. He went, but I was stuck here for this. Why is Brown on a first name basis with the director of Fireweed? Oh. What'd you find? It's an invoice. Eddie Brown, you'll find and close the final invoice for resident Tyler Ronan. The Fireweed Administration would like to thank you for all of the support you've given. Brown really wants everyone oh, to know goodness. what a fine, upstanding citizen he is, doesn't he? He's a genuinely good So person. he's been paying for and us, saying that right? here makes me feel even... The police chief of Delos Crossing hosts charity events? Huh? Let's put the Vecchies next to... Can you not? You know, find and close a letter. Letter for annual social. Edit a plus one and the chance that you'll use it. Alright, I feel like we're on a time limit, so I'm extra stressed. Obviously, the stuff is gonna huh. be on his desk. Dallas Police Force is getting a new officer. Finally. General discharge? I don't want that. I want the drawer that's locked. <gasps> collectible! Give me the collectible. Oh. Hey, you. Okay. Um, why do you have a consolation? Though we are destined to burn, we emerge as stardust. Is that? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yes. Burn it. Burn it with fire. Though... We are destined to burn. We emerge as stardust. Is that? Oh no. <laughs> oh yes. Burn it. Burn it with fire. Alright, well I'm not getting much from this. 38. Oh, wow. Graduated really young. Youngest officer to ever join the DCPD. Alright, I need something. Allison, you got something? I guess I'll just examine Looks the Looks like this is again. where Brown keeps all his personal mail. Wait, you'll find... Please pay the due amount on March 25th, 2012. Hmm. All right, well, I'm not finding nothing from here right now. Um, you know, it'd have to be in here, right? Man, I'm stressed sure out. You checked all the emails? No, I didn't even go on the computer. I didn't... Watch your mama. You hit reply all Sherlock. If it's in your cereal this morning. <laughs> uh, city council meeting. Bias training. Please remember your presence is required. I need you to speak as a field ten on all res Do now if you can't attend and I'll reschedule. This is not a push matter with Randy Spears. Could benefit from the discussion no matter what. Mom invited Eddie over for dinner? Oh, yeah. Uh, he's been trying way too hard to get Eddie's endorsement. Oh my Does God. he? Support Tom? He preferred staying neutral. Tuh. Whoa. Brown looked at our file this morning. Wait, what? 
What does that mean? I don't, I don't know. But there's a reference number. R68653. R... R... R6865. One of his emails five. mentioned the archives. That's gotta be... Aw, look at you. Allison Ronan. Perfect daughter. Can we stay focused, please? I don't think it's a freaking... R35... R358... Some... some. Alright, where are we going to? Please tell me you know what the code is. To the highly confidential police archive? Then, how am I supposed to open the door? I spent hours playing next to this room. I'd see people go inside all the time. There we go. Yes. Thank you, thank you, Jorn. <laughs> I was like, I can't hear the differences. We were, we were literally caught on camera going into this facility as there's a camera right at the door. I hope that we've looked at that sign. Uh, looks like they're finally going digital. Oh, that's right. I remember Eddie complaining about this. We're gonna have to resort everything. Great. They've digitized their closed files, but only the ones before 1990. Meaning? Meaning our file is still somewhere in those boxes. Okay. Perfect. A room of scattered case files and a half-ton sorting system. <laughs> yep. This is gonna be so fun for you. I'm gonna go keep a lookout. Wow. What? Thanks, Allison. Why do I have to be the one stuck with box duty? Because if anyone sees me, I'll have a better excuse for being there. Reach out if you need anything. R six eight six five three. R six eight six okay. five three. R six R R six five six eight three right R six five six eight three R six five six R R six five six Ooh, what's here? All right, look, they're digitizing though. Okay, R R six five six. I see an R six six, but I don't think that's it. R. Ah, hi, Aunt. How's it going? <laughs> what year was it? I don't even know the year. Shit. R six. R six. There's an R six. R six. R six five. R six five. R six five. R65 R65 I can't find it! Rather right? like this is so unorganized. R6 5 6 Is that R5? R6 Oh, there's one on the table. I'm gonna guess 83. R62? I'm just gonna. Oh, okay. Oh, you're gonna tell me. Okay, Tyler. Not this one either. No, that's not it. Here we go. Oh, R68. It's R68. <laughs> Thanks, Alistair, for telling me wrong. <laughs> nah, I just misremembered. Looks like a step by step record of the investigation. What does it say? Halt of the accident. Halt and I arrive on the scene. Miner's name, Ronan. Ronan, child of Mary. Arrived at scene, rolled prints of victim. Completed photographs. Bullets recovered from location. Bullets. Well? So far, I'm not seeing anything we didn't know already. It does reference some other files and audio recordings, though. You might be able to look those up like on the what? computer. TA66 six, six. been digitized yet. They may already have it in the appendix. Shut. Okay. 66585. 66585. Please remember that chat. Do I have another page to turn? Oh my god, we have a lot to go through. Oh my god, it's 66585. Um, we have some tapes, 36360, just keep that in mind. 
I don't think we need the officer. Okay, so three, six, three, zero, and six, six, five, eight, five. That's what we need. I would prefer to get six, 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 five, eight, five first. Okay, um, six, six, All right, I'm five, in. eight, you can five. search by keywords. What should I look for? I don't know. Mary Ann Ronan, March 1st, 2005. You need to select one more time. Okay. Autopsy report. Our crime scene victim information summary. Okay, but this isn't giving me anything. References 05 R62 766. R62 766. Okay, um, 05 R62 62 62 62. I've seen it. 62 62. 05 05. R61. Nope. Well, where's two? Just give me a little. Zero five, R62, 766. R62, 766. There's five, two. Zero five. Zero five. Where the heck is it? Not this one either. It should be there, but it's not. No, that's not it. Are you finding anything? No, I can't find it. Just give me a minute. It's a mess in here. Come on, we need to hurry. I'm working on it. Zero five six. Nope. I'm just gonna start clicking everything. This one either. Uh, where's the damn box? Well, should I take no, it? That's not it. Oh. Where is the box? It's just not there. Nope. Are you finding anything? I can't find it. Just tell me again the file number. R sixty two seven sixty six. Whoa, 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 whoa! We already went through this, though. What? I have, I have her autopsy report. Okay. She. I just went back in the box I had. Okay. Got her. What is it? Homicide. Stab wound was not fatal. What? Okay, but are you guys really that surprised about that? Homicide accident. Wait, so if she's technically died from drowning, I... Why did Tyler get sent away? So what do I do with this information? Allison... What do I do with this? How do I how do I go about this? Was there something else I was supposed to find in there? No, I can't I can't open it again. Zero five six six. There might be other references on the computer. Oh, okay. Now I gotta go back to the computer. Eddie Brown Ronin recording. Dallas Crossing Police Department. <laughs> hello? Hello? Uh, hello. I can hear you. It, it's my mom. She she fell in the water and she's not coming up. Okay, where are you now? Home. We're home. Are you alone? Where's your dad? It's just me and my sister. All right, honey, can you give me your address? 12 Cannery Road. Please, hurry. Just stay right where you are, okay? We're sending someone out to help you. Don't hang up! I want to look up Eddie. Here. Think of 
Max receipt. So it's 0501, 0501, 0501. Okay, I need to check out 0501 C-O-M-E-B-R. 0501 C-0501, 0501, 0501. Here we go, here we go. There. This is about Eddie. Help. Brown reported Marianne to Child Services. What do you mean? <gasps> I'm looking at a fax receipt with Brown's That's name. what they were arguing Sent about! The Office of Child Services with the subject, Ronan family. What? There has to be more to this. Just, just keep looking. <gasps> oh! So Marianne was pissed! Of course we chose the wrong freaking thing. Shit, shit, shit. Eddie's coming up the stairs. Shit. What do I do? What do I do? Um, I'm coming out. I'm just coming out. I'm coming out. No, you're not. He'll see you. Fuck. Uh, Sam in the bathroom. Get him into his office. Tell him you need to talk in his office. <laughs> That's not gonna work, is it? Can I go now? Eddie just walks in. from the Office of Child Services. Hello, Mrs. Brew. I'm calling about the Ronan family. Uh, I just wanted to let you know that we will be moving forward with the case. Uh, I see. Is there anyone additional we should interview while we're in the area? Yeah, uh, Samuel Kansky is a close friend of the family. Huh. Sam is in on it! Oh, gosh! <laughs> Our whole life Great. is a lie! The case worker, Sandy Black, will be arriving on March 5th. She'll drop by the station first thing in the morning. Mrs. Proof, how worried should we be? Mm, I really can't say until I have a full picture of the situation. Of course. Well, <laughs> have a good afternoon, Mrs. Proof. What a too, douche. Sir. I just listened to Brown chatting with OCS. He really did it. He reported her. What if he was just a go between? He might not have had a choice. We need to keep digging. Okay, I'm working on it. Um, um, Sam, child service? Nothing, okay. Sam, Ronan children? Nothing. Sam, Marianne? Nothing. Sam, Sam, I don't got nothing with Sam, do I? No. Okay, um, shit. Been there, done that. Um, shit, shit. What else do I need to look up? Here. Incident. Death report? Child neglect report? Oh, 2005-201-546. References. 2005-201-546. Here we go. Okay, here it is. Okay, hurry up, Allison. You better be stalling this shit. What the hell? Tessa <laughs> too. What the fuck? I can kind of see where Tessa's coming from, though. Reason to suspect Ronan to be guilty of child neglect. They don't eat and they're exposed to all kind of inappropriate influences. Frick off, Tessa. Tessa's really up in everybody's business. Sam, Eddie. Sam and Eddie, okay. So Tessa also reported it. We can also look up. Okay, let me look up Sam and Eddie. Oh! <gasps> Kamsky complaint. Kamsky complaint. 2014, 2003, or 2000. DUI? I don't care about that. L Keys. 2003? I need to check out 2014, 203. 2014. 203. 203. 2014. 201? Nope. Oh, 003. I don't care about the DUI, but. Hmm. Nothing helpful. Shit. Okay. Fuck that. We we don't care about you, Sam. I don't think Sam would report on child abuse or neglect, but you know Tessa's who would though? Name, Tessa. Search for her. Tessa incident. Uh, 
I seen this one. Yeah, that's Tessa true. Tessa, Mary. E. Brown. Hospital discharge. Zero five. References. Zero five. R sixty eight. M I S C. This one either. Fuck. Where's the damn box? Zero five. Zero five. I'm on a hunt, okay? Leave me alone. Just give me a minute. It's what a was it? Zero five. Shit. What was the number again? Zero five. Shit. I need your help. Zero five. The, here we go. Oh. Uh, okay. So it's this nope. one. Well. What's the number? Zero five R sixty eight M I S. Zero five R sixty eight. Zero five R sixty eight. Zero five R sixty eight. Oh, we already looked at sixty eight. It won't let me look at it. Okay, I need to find something else then. It won't let me look at it. I don't understand. Been there, done that. Tessa. Tessa. Okay, why won't it let me? I need to check out. Zero five R sixty eight M I S C. Oh, I need M I S C. Okay, zero five. Zero five R sixty eight M I S C. Zero five R sixty eight. Is there a time limit in this game? Because I feel like I'm way past. Zero five sixty eight zero five. What the frick? Not this one either. No, that's not it. You're finding nope. Shit. Not this one either. That's not it. Maybe it's this one. Here we go. Huh. Why is that here? Concussion? Pressure and the high loss of consciousness days. Patient last name was Ronan. Patient, hereby release. I was crossing home insurance. Concussion. Oh, she didn't have insurance. Uh. Wait. A headache? I'm very confused. What does that mean? Need to get moving. Okay. I guess we got all of our information. Shit. I'm sorry, Tyler. I couldn't stop him. He's Shit. coming your way. Shit, we gotta think fast. Get out. Uncle, I we didn't mean I'm to. I'm not gonna repeat myself. Crap. Was I not supposed to? Was I not supposed to get caught? <laughs> I said, move it. H hey, get off me. Rather spend the night here? Come on. I said, don't fucking touch me. Go on. And consider yourselves lucky, your family. Ooh. I'm going to be nice about it. We should talk right. in private. Family. And for Allison's sake, we should talk. Yup. About what? We saw our file. We know about social services. Why? Why did you turn your back on her? Why did Tessa? Okay. Yeah, you're right. We need to talk. That's what I thought, Eddie. Ooh, I think I made a decent choice there. But was it too much to expose too soon? I don't know. The winter before your mother's death was... hard. Devil's Crossing was snowed in for months. 
Most roads were closed and yeah. plane supplies were scarce. Yeah, so why do I care? Everyone was struggling. Especially Marianne. Yeah. She was always just scraping by. And that winter left nothing to scrape up. Even if locals had found time to help her. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure your mother would have accepted. You're saying Tessa reported her mother because she was having supply issues? Tessa came to me because she was honestly concerned. <laughs> right. Can't. I was legally required to report Tessa's complaint. Yeah. Even if I didn't agree. But to call child services? I don't so want to... took her word for I it. I don't want to put it in our services. opinions right now. Failure to provide adequate food. Lack of appropriate supervision. Inattention to a child's psychological care. Like it or not, she had a case. What? It's bullshit. Just following the law then. Right. Is that why you came over that day before she died? You felt shitty, didn't you? That's why you broke procedure? I had to warn her that it was happening and that it wasn't looking good. An assessment worker had been assigned and started doing background checks. What else was I supposed to do? Tessa should have filed a complaint. I thought always no. telling each other the truth was our number one rule. Still is, little moose. Whatever. And yet you still lie. Yeah, you freaking backstabber. I didn't want you two putting yourselves through unnecessary hurt. But you're adults and that was your choice to make. I'm, I'm truly sorry. Thank you, Uncle. I said they had a thing. They don't... I forget. Uncle. I'm so confused how everybody's connected. I'm a little mad, Allison. Just like that, huh? Must be nice to have a daughter who lets you off the hook that easy. Eddie, you keep trying to point your finger at Tessa, but... You have to take responsibility for your part in our mother's death. I've asked myself over and over for the past 10 years what I could have done different. I know I made a big mistake with you two here. And you've got every right to be angry. Being a father, well, it's a pretty tough job. I've tried my best. And I'd like to try my best with you too, Tyler, if you want it. tell if he's sincere or not. He sounds sincere, but he's a cop. And he's lied to us. You know what? No! F it. I'm pissed. <laughs> I'm sorry, Eddie. It's not that easy. You're right about one thing, though. It's time we move on. See you around, Chief. Just jealous you can't get into the police archive room, huh? Even though you're all cops. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Shut up about it, Wilson. Allison. What? 
you feel like shit. How can you tell? Because From your I face. Feel like shit. What are we gonna do about Tessa? Nothing. I'm pissed with her, but well, there ain't nothing we're not we can do, do now. Anything. That's enough, Tyler. Talk to Tessa. Why? What are you looking for? What are you expecting her to say? I thought she loved us. Really? Chief Brown, is it true? Is she? Oh my god. Ch children, I... Tessa. Tessa, you need to leave. Come on, kids. Everything is going to be all right, okay? You're going to be okay, I promise. Go home. You can't be here right now. What? Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> Tessa, just stop, man. That's a little shady on Tessa's part, 100% though. Where is everybody? Tessa's gotta be around somewhere. Oh yeah, I'm about to give this woman a couple words. <laughs> I think I'm hearing something. Well, at least we know the entire world didn't vanish. Given who is here, we can't count out the rapture quite yet. Oh, hey, it's Michael. I need to take a breather. I'm gonna do a bit of shopping. Yeah, go talk you to your little... Okay? Your little fling. Oh. Okay, so Tessa, we should just check the back, right? here okay so he should know where Tessa his wife is hey Tom how's it going fella what do oh you mean we've got enough signatures it should have at least been enough to stall construction while we figure out our next move well why don't we schedule a meeting with the Allison you're Foundation. you work Try tomorrow to Wednesday I think Look, it's Tuesday Harold, I have to go we can pick this up you work the nine meeting. to five soon, I should okay? be on my way over soon Hi, Tom. Hello, How are Tyler. you? Uh, can I help you? Yes, you can, sir. Allison, get out of my way. I'm trying to talk to the dude. Allison. Ugh, get out of my way. I'm trying to talk to Tom. <laughs> hey, I hope this isn't a bad time, but is Tessa around today? Finally, she had to some step weirdness out for a family with the hat. <laughs> this wouldn't be something I could hey, help with. Uh, yeah, community maybe, challenge. Actually. That's what happened. We were over at the police station, and we took a look at Marianne's case file. <clears throat> okay. Um, so, this is Duckworth. Um, Duckworth, say, nice to meet you. Quack, quack. So, yeah, Duckworth, he, uh, he said hi. Um, <laughs> yes, he, uh, yeah, he was part of a community challenge, and now I gotta wear him, um, for, like, 20 more streams. So yeah, he'll be around, and everybody really loves him. He's part of the family. My cat approves of him, so I think we have to make him into an emote when he goes bye bye. But he'll have special appearances. It was some Tessa challenge. Tessa reported Marianne to social services. <laughs> yeah. Did you know? Vaguely, but I didn't get involved. It's a community point I didn't challenge. I think thing. I really had anything to add. You never it's thought like to mention it? There. Well, no. Yeah. It's I'm freaking not sure hot in here. Thing like that would have come up. It's and hot. I didn't want to rub salt in And then this, Duckworth. Huh. Mm -mm. How about when we were in the store yesterday asking he about He makes my scalp bank. sweat. That was between you and Tessa. <laughs> I try to stay out of other people's affairs. Uh, why was Tessa at the station? Why did Tessa come to the police station that night? She was looking for you two. To make sure you were okay. How are you doing, Daniel? When she heard what happened, she was a mess. She was How a mess. How exactly did she hear about it so fast? Can't remember who called, but you know how it is. Somebody called no her. No news travels faster than a secret. Everyone knew five minutes after Brown was on his way out. All right, thank you, Tom. 
Okay. You're a great talker, Tom. Thank you. You gave us a good chunk of info. I'm sorry if you felt resistance from people around here. To put it mildly. Allison, you know this better than anybody. But your mother's death left a scar on this community. Now, I won't claim we went through anything close to what you did, but it was a cruel reminder of the limits of trust. Well, if we want to get past the limits of trust, we all need to face what happened. Which yeah. means being completely Dude, honest about it. Tonight, get ready for bed soon. How are you? Kid. All right, I'm a little tired. It's just harder for some Life's been crazy, so I'm ready to now, have like two days off tomorrow. You let me know if you have any other questions, okay? <laughs> tomorrow on Wednesday. Hey. Yes? You said I should remind you not to be late for your meeting, so don't be late. Uh, <laughs> yep, yep. I'll be on my way nice in a minute. Nice job, Michael. Uh, so. Kids, was there uh, anything else you two wanted to talk to me about? Did you ever hear any rumors about our mother? Like, who our father might have been? Mm, I'm not exactly a rumor monger. Your Come mother on, you're was about to be mayor. To men, but whether they were your father, I couldn't I'm say. sleeping in and no Duckworth for two days? Yeah. I mean, he'll still be quacking, like, around my desk look, and I... complaining. Oh. How he Gosh. wants to stream, but uh, uh, I'm sorry. He won't be on my head, really so it'll be a go. little better. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, Michael, could you finish up the storage room and I'm then ready just, uh, to close go up? through adulting yeah, sure stuff thing, boss tomorrow? Man. See you later. Figuring out finances, cleaning, you know, all that fun stuff. That'll be my day off. You two want to help a brother out? Spend the afternoon here working for free? No. Why not? What? We have to, talk to, to Tessa and she's not here. Uh, she, she's at the cemetery uh, visiting her parents. Oh. Hey, tell you what. Why don't you guys help me close the store and then we can drive over together. I've been meaning to pay my uncle a visit. Can't we just wait for her to come back here? I, I'm not really excited about going there. Allison, we don't have to visit her grave. I'm gonna start working in the storage room. Tyler, join me when you're done. Sure thing. So give me a you're gonna use me for free work when we need to do work on cleaning out our house that's going to have a showing tomorrow. Oh my goodness. I don't even want to talk question about our father come from. We need to know. I've just been thinking about who he might be. And if he knows anything that could help us figure this shit out. Why? He wasn't a part of our lives. Besides, Marianne always said we never had a father. Well, her name might have been Mary, but I don't think she was a likely candidate for Immaculate Conception. <laughs> I think our father is Sam, isn't that obvious? He's always around. But he just seems like he didn't want the responsibility, but it feels some sort of guilt. All right. Oh, wow, big storage there, unit. But I just need you to double check a few things. It's okay. not complicated. I've got this in the bag. Yeah, oh, yeah, this is easy work. These are just that good, huh? Your job's not that hard. <laughs> I mean, it's just counting stuff on a shelf, right? Yeah. Okay, let's start with an easy one. All right. Go to the back of the room and uh, tell me how many cans of Molto Bene brand tomato sauce we have left. Aye, aye. Back of the room, tomato sauce. I need tomato sauce, tomato sauce. Anybody has a, some tomato sauce here? This looks like detergent. Maybe I should pick up some for Allison? Some bleach detergent? Why? That's just weird. What's she need with that? Okay, here we go. Malto. Malto. What are we at? We're at like. There's four, eight. Then there's six on the top, so Hold 14. On. Let me count this. Isn't it 14? There's 14 cans of Malta Bene tomato sauce. Okay. Sounds about right. Man, I'm so good at this. That was easy. I need you to count the bottles of bleach for me. Ugh. I saw where the bleach was. On it. But, before I go count the bleach, I just want to see if there's any collectibles around here. You know, when you think about it, glass is really just tortured sand. Huh. Uh. Have you been sniffing this bright paint? <laughs> 
Okay, this is bleach, right? Deep thoughts, I know, right? Is this bleach? Here we go. Uh, it looks like f six. Yeah, six. Six? All right. Not bad, Tyler. Not I should bad. get it wrong Careful. on purpose. <laughs> they might give me your job. Oh, you can have it. Don't uh, managers do inventory yeah, though? This. He said, "Wait, what did he say? He said, help me with this. What do you want?" What do you need, Michael? Oh, that hey, poster looks cool. Hey, remember the ad for this? What was their slogan again? Huh. Something poetic about time travel and life being weird, I think. Good talk. What's up? I need your opinion on this masterpiece. Oh, God. He's doing... Is that supposed to be me? Yeah, come on. Look at the hair. Dude, it does kind of look right? like Tyler, though. <laughs> Your proportions are way off. It's beautiful, man. That's pretty good Honestly, for... It's beautiful. For a couple hey, seconds. Don't make fun of me. I'm not. <laughs> well, maybe a little bit, but I like it. I her. think I, I, well, I like it. It helps to have a good model. So what? this is what you're up to while I was out there doing your work? What can I say? I'm a multitasker. Hey, multitasker? True. I think you made a mistake here. Total amount should be 36. Oh, how dare you, sir? What? <laughs> I just don't want you to get in trouble. Yeah, you're right. You know, I'm off my game today. Playing a guy still getting hit on. Yeah, I'm like, All right. What? Anything else you want to I thought Michael check? liked yep. Allison. One last thing, and then we should be free from this purgatory. Okay. Hey, hey. Can you count how many plushies we have in that box over there? Over where? That box over there. Uh, are you gonna make me beg for specifics? Tempting, but no. See that Bible study poster on the wall over there? That's where you should be looking. Oh, huh. <laughs> wait, You're wait, collectible, kind. collectible. Is that the mangy muskrat? Take it, let's go. I wanna get all collectibles if possible, but I probably missed a couple. All right, where are they at? So I see, oof. I see three on the bottom. Oh, there's one. Are there two? There's one behind. One of them on the bottom. I see one, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Uh, you've got about eleven left in that box. Did I get it wrong? Michael? Michael? Did you just steal Ouch, that statue? What the fuck? Hey, yeah, sorry. that's what I do. It was just too tempting. <laughs> what the heck are we doing? Lesson number one in the ancient art of inventory. Never let your guard down. <laughs> you have no idea what you just started. First one with three confirmed hits wins. Cool. Can I just lose? Because I really don't want to do that. was that about I'm not changing my cover okay now I'll change my cover oh come on is that all you've got Ronan I don't know what I'm doing you just wait I suck at this I do yeah uh, you still statues I suck at this I'd crush you if we were fishing though we'll come have to on, go come out to the buzzard hole to test that out come out I'm sticking out I'm ready for you Michael Really? You ain't gonna do frick, my guy? <laughs> gotcha. Well, that was easy. Hey, how's it going, Michael? Oh, I can't see on this angle. How's it going, Michael? Oh, I almost missed. So, is this a typical work day for you? Bring it nah, on! I usually don't have such good-looking company back here. He's heading on a sofa. I thought he was interested in Allison. He was gonna move with Allison. Oh, so I'm good-looking company, huh? Yeah, well, don't let it get to your head. I'm still destroying you. Whatever, I'm one up on you. Or, sorry, we are, we are, we are at one one. <laughs> gotcha. That was easy. One Bring more it on, hit, Michael. you're out. Prepare to feel my wrath. <laughs> God, you're corny. Should I just wait until Hey, it is moves? it cool that we're throwing these toys around? Aren't you guys gonna like sell them? Nah, supplier made a typo on Becky. Can't sell any of them. <laughs> cool. No harm, no foul, then. <laughs> the supplier made a freaking typo. I've seen that happen. And it's quite funny. Boom. 
Boom. Let's go. Did he deflect? He deflected. I could just rip off the head and then throw the head and the body oh. to get a double. <laughs> Man, you're good. <laughs> I told you not to doubt the golden arm. <laughs> well, we'll never make that mistake again. Okay. I need to finish this inventory thing real quick. Your sister's probably done already. Here. Let's hit the bitch's grotto. For <laughs> what? That's the name for the couch where Allison and I sit during breaks. Oh my uh, god. <laughs> Alright, cool. Let me see what you've done with the place. What a name. <laughs> oh my god. The bitch's grotto. Oh, you see that container? That's for you. Huh? It's, it's the like trout I caught yesterday at the buzzard hole. Grilled it up with my world-renowned marinade. Damn, you ever made food for me? I thought you were interested in my... my sister. That's no cursing? Okay, okay. Thoughtful. No cursing. What Thank is you. that, like 10 minutes? I need a downgrade this time. No, sorry. I'm just not used to people randomly doing nice things for me. Oh, I'll have to fix that. <laughs> what is this flirting? It was for Tyler. <laughs> Yikes, that's unsettling. Is that a picture of a priest with little hearts? Yeah, that's the hot priest who hosts Bible study with Tessa. <laughs> for the record, that was Allison's doing. She had a crush on him for ages, but oh, he is very, very hot. What if shit? Yeah, I remember him from when we were kids. That's Father Batista. Yeah, Father He's got Batista. That silver fox thing going on now. See? Yeah. What? Yep. I see it. I'm just thinking of Dave Batista, and I'm like, wow, that kind of does look like a Dave Batista. Um, what's with, um, what's with the the flyer there, buddy? Can I sit? Can we Let's hang? What's up? Why are you flirting with me? I'm surprised Tessa let you hang this up. Yeah, I'm shocked yeah, too. Yeah, she hates it. But as long as I don't <laughs> Father Batista, my I know, right? <laughs> style in front of the customers. She didn't say anything. Man, it must well, be exhausting to so... spend your days educating these people. <laughs> Here's the thing, I don't. Opening the minds of this town would be a full-time fucking job. And emotional labor pays shit. Do you ever get lonely here? Have you ever been with anyone here? Hey. I hope this isn't too personal, but you ever been with anyone in Delos Crossing? I dated a guy in high school for a minute, but we had to keep it quiet. I've been with a few other people, but that shit's tricky out here. And what about you? You ever been with a guy? I mean, assuming you're into guys, which <laughs> I guess I kind of did. Uh, still figuring shit. Never met the right person. We're still figuring everything. I, I cussed. Oh my god. My shit out. Did we count I'm that though? Sure because like it was the anyone. lyric, you know? <laughs> like the yeah, lyric. It was the line, you know. And don't ever feel like. Fine, I already set my in. timer. Yeah, I don't. But thank you. All right, take two. No cussing. Don't ever get lonely here. Do you ever get lonely in Delos Crossing? Yeah, sometimes. That's why I'm always in Juno working with the JCE. Meeting new people. I gotta make my shit happen for me. Because no one else will. Right. I feel you. Mm, so I forgot to tell you guys. Um, I looked it up. Okay, because I was like, wow, these chapters take forever. They're like two hours. And most are like an hour and thirty. Come to find out, there's only three chapters of this game. So once we're done with this, like, we only have one more chapter to go. So that's why they're so long. Anyway. And so I'm done. So I assume tell me why we're going to finish next Monday. Okay? No way. You like Duplex Duo too? Yeah. <laughs> Allison got me into him. We were supposed to go to his show in Juno a few months ago. What happened? You know what's up. <laughs> and what happened? Uh, you ever heard of Moon Rocks? <laughs> we took two hits before going to the show and that was it. Our feet <laughs> couldn't find the floor. Oh, God. Not our finest alley. <laughs> oh, jeez. I gotta tell you, it's so weird to finally meet the other Ronin. You mean the OG Ronin? I was born first, you know. Is that so? I thought Allison said she was. Well, our mother never actually told us, but it was me. So, <laughs> why is it so weird to meet me? 
Because I just heard Allison tell your story so many times. She told me everything about you. Fireweed. Your transition. I hope that's okay, by the way. Yeah, it's fine. She asked me first. <laughs> yeah, figures. That lady is thorough and she loves you like crazy. I know. So, yeah. Uh, you were probably the first person to know about it other than Allison. I'm glad you trusted me. And it's great to finally oh. get to know you in the flesh. You're pretty alright. Thanks, you're not too bad yourself. Now he's getting creepy. <laughs> you're not too bad yourself. I try not to be. I feel a little Especially cringe because he's just so like. So I wasn't blowing smoke when I said you should move to Juno with us. <laughs> it's creepy. I know. I... I've got a community there. It could be yours too. Hmm. It's gonna be. In. This is gonna There's be like an option at the end of the game. Move to Juno with you Allison have and no Michael. Idea how life-saving a chosen family can be. They pull me out of the dark more times than I can count. I hear you. Hey, can I ask you a question? Of course. Shoot. Why do you care so much if I move to Juno? Yeah, what up? <laughs> Look, like I said, I I want to get to know you. Because I'm just that fascinating, huh? Honestly, yeah. You might be one of a kind, Tyler Ronan. Oh, you used my full name there. Whoa. <laughs> We're not looking for the same thing. Oh, uh, you're, you're cool. Michael seems like a cool guy. Well, golly gee, Michael. I think you're swell, too. You're the cat's <laughs> pajamas. <laughs> Shut up. I've got way better compliments than that. But I can't open with my best, right? It's cool. So, I'll get more of those if I get to know you better? For sure. If that's something you'd be interested in. I might be. Yeah. Oh, <clears throat> we sparked a little romance there. I've been standing there. at that counter for an hour waiting for you two dum dums to come back. It has not been no hour. Are you guys ready Allison? to go? Just stop. <laughs> I think we've done about as much damage as we can back here. Yeah. Let's go. Oh my goodness. I didn't realize it'd be like a big, big choice. You just say that you're interested in Michael. I didn't want to be like, Michael's cool. Like, I just don't know what I don't know what Tyler is looking for. I guess. Here we are. I don't know what Tyler wants. I think that's why I like his character more. Allison seems pretty headset in what she's doing, and she just could be a little rude about trying to get there. Thanks for letting me hit your ride over. And Tyler's just no like problem. whatever. You sure we can't drive you back? Nah. Have a good day. Like stretching my legs. To catch you, duck for it isn't a bit. far. Thanks for joining, Daniel. Anyway, I appreciate can't it. Put the wind in a bottle. Have a good night. <laughs> All right. Duckworth says goodbye. Quack, 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 quack. <laughs> he waves, Tessa he waves. should be at her parents' grave. Not far from the entrance. Look for a big, crooked tree. Is this really you the best it. time to talk to this woman? <laughs> I'm gonna go check in with my uncle. Good luck. For real. I really thought Michael was interested in Allison. It's like, oh yeah, I'll fix you dinner. You look pretty spooked. I've never been a big fan of cemeteries. Who is? Especially after, you know. I promise after this we can chill at the house, cool? All right, we're looking for a big crooked tree. Big crooked tree. I wanna go down that way just to find a collectible. Hey, graves are back that way. Dang it. It won't let me. So, Ooh, ain't nothing do you but ever a come back? Keep it down. Better? Much. Why do people always feel like they have to whisper in cemeteries? Yeah, what the know. heck? Probably just a Hey, mirror. Booth, how's it going? Oh, what? Unky C. Unky D. Ooh. Yeah. Well, we got a anyway, memory. Have you been back here at all? Since the Mom, why do we always come here? Does it bother you? No. It's just weird because we don't know any of these people. I, I mean, except Eddie's mom. It never hurts it's to Eddie's say hello. Because they're very lonely. That's right. It's nothing but a mistake. Sometimes. Sing it up, sing it Even up. if you can't see them, they stay with you. In here. Always here. Mom? <laughs> Always. 
She loved us. A lot. Sometimes it was like loving us hurt her. Do you think she was just really it's weird. scared? Of oh no, that's not that's Maybe. not the street. <laughs> yeah. But I don't know. You're I mean, good, you're good. Most parents are scared of losing their kids. Most parents are afraid of losing their kids. Hmm. Yeah, no, this stream, all we deal with is our, uh, get, going into our mother's past and seeing why she almost wanted to kill me. That's all this stream is about. Okay, well, there's the crooked Here's tree. The crooked tree, but no Tessa. Let's check around for her parents' grave. Just to make sure that... Yes, again. Dr. Phillips? Uh, karaoke stream booth when... Stream when booth. Wait, is this the one we called Big Crookedy? The exact Crookedy? One. Why didn't we call it Gnarl's Branch? I told him to stop with him. <laughs> because we weren't hip to basketball back then? I don't want to look at any of these guys. Yeah. When didn't Michael's <laughs> Last year. It was really hard on him. He's still feeling it. Oh, Long there's Michael and his uncles. Do you want some company? Come on over. Oh! <laughs> Michael, you just ran into me. What the heck was that about? I thought we were flirting with each other. Now you're just running into so, me, man. How are you, um... Is this a bad time? With you? Never. Oh! Don't mind me. I'm not really here. Hey, I get to see your ugly mug almost every day. You're old news, lady. Ooh. You wound me. Deeply. <laughs> so, can I help you guys out somehow? Uh, we need to know where Tessa is. What is your uncle like? Where did you say the grave was? Uh, so, we might be having some trouble finding a particular grave? Are you serious? Walk straight to the big tree, then look to your right. I swear, bats have better eyesight than you two. Oh. Says the guy wearing glasses. Yeah, but these are <laughs> magnifying glasses. Not and ever. Infrared, so, I see everything. Yeah, okay, Michael. No worries. Uh, talk to you later. Talk to you later. I could you ask bet. about your uncle, but I don't want to intrude. All right, so we go to the big crooked tree, and we make a right. So, how are you, um, it's like this guy? lost in the chaos of history? What's that mean? Not sure, but Michael should know. I don't see a Tessa. Allison, you coming? I'll be right there. Oh, I better make sure he doesn't get lost. Yes. Why does that sound familiar? Andrea. Yeah, he used to haul lumber he for the truck. Oh yeah, and he always blasts the horn for us. <laughs> Do we have to go through the gate? They won't let me know. Probably the one with the flowers, right? Baleo. That's the one. <sighs> Don't I got tell smart. me, you missed her. I got smart, y'all. Smart. Pretty sure we missed her. Hello, Mr. Eagle. Ooh. Kids. Time. Dang, can we just find Tessa, please? I'm I'm getting tired with these memories. I just want to find Tessa and, and tell her off. Oh, I can finally cuss when I, we go tell her off. <laughs> the no cussing ban has been released. I can walk fine on my own. It'll be quick, okay? Then we'll get something to eat. Where's the grave? I don't think we should visit her grave, to be perfectly honest. I mean, she did try to kill me. Why would I want to go? Do you remember where she is? <laughs> no. For what it's worth, I remember something. Allison, please. I'm, I'm not going! Man, Allison, Allison did have a hard time. Come back! <sighs> what the heck is that? Give me the memory. 
totem. That's a totem. <gasps> oh, look at my footprints. I'm making I my footprints are in the away. snow. Look at it. I'm going to tell them the truth. You swore, Allison. No, you can't tell them the I'm truth, gonna be okay. Allison. Please, don't worry about me. I know I'm supposed to get over this brown thing, but I really wish you'd been able to come visit that much. Yeah, me too, but look, I didn't make any promises that day. You did. Watch. Allison? Oh, my goodness. They all think you killed her. It's not fair. I'll be okay. You have to take care of yourself now. See? It's possible. But I don't think so. Well, I know so. Thinking about it got me through the rest of the day. Ah, uh, too many choices. Oh God, we're lagging. I'm sorry. Slight lag, slight lag, but we back, but we back. I I'll promise to return. But Allison I'm gonna come promises. see you every week. Be back soon, all right? Promise. I'm gonna I'll choose Allison's soon, memory. Right? Again. Chief Brown's gonna take care of you. We'll be okay. You'll see. Kids. It just, just to me, like, I... I'm sorry it took me so long to come back. I got so caught up in Makes everything sense. that... You really don't have to explain. I understand what you were going through now. Are you ever gonna let me finish my sentences? <laughs> Maybe someday. But not today. All right, are we going to go visit this grave or what? I thought we were here for Tessa. I want to see Tessa. You think Snowball still lives in there? Snowy owls only tend to live about 10 years. Oh, rest in peace, Snowball. Where's her, where's her grave at? Where's the grave at? Is that Tessa? I think that's Tessa. I wish I could run. Tessa, why are you visiting our mom's... Skating on Wednesday. Wait, Kendra. I wish... Oh, hi. Oh. I didn't see you there. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry. That's so incredibly awkward. I, 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 I'm so sorry. I thought you were someone. Welcome to Delos Crossing, where even the beavers have to shop at the Beckys. Wait, wait. You guys know each other? Wait, talk to each other. Oh, okay. All of a sudden you don't want to talk. Alright, alright, alright then. I thought that was Tessa. I got really excited. Ty. Which one is it? This is it. Right. Yeah. No dice. No dice. Not hers. Why, where is she? Oh, there she is. March 15, 2005 is when she passed. That was... Is that her? What the hell was going on with you? What broke? <laughs> Why didn't you say anything? We were your goblins. <laughs> you didn't have to do it all alone. <laughs> Dude, Allison, calm down. <laughs> Elsa's like, I don't want to visit the grave. And then she's like, just bawling. I'm so confused. I'm just so confused how they... I'm so confused why they care about their mother so much. When they tried to kill Ty! I don't get it. I wasn't expecting to see... But what are you... What are you doing here? I'm visiting my mother's doing? grave. What Feel are you a doing? a little guilty, maybe?
That's not cold and heartless. I just don't get... I'm so confused by their mother... Like, uh, children relationship dynamic. Like, if you try to kill one of your children... If I were that child, I would never visit your grave, you know? Like, I just... <laughs> That's just me, though. I get it. When we pass on, our graves are all anyone has to remember us by. Letting hers just fall apart would be cruel. I'm not a cruel person. Cruel enough to call social services on our mother. I... I wanted to protect you. Marianne was getting worse all the time. I was afraid that if things kept going the way they were, then one day... We were going to end up dead? No, I won't do this again. Oh. I refuse to be held responsible for her choices. Marianne was fine until you reported her. Fine? She was getting by on handouts for years. There are only so many times you can show up high to a generous offer of employment. Assuming you show up at all. In the end, she isolated herself from everyone. She was alone and out of options. She had us, until you threatened to have us taken away. I couldn't let her drag you down with her. She had you stealing for God's sake. Your mother never wanted to be a part of this community. She always thought she was better than the rest of us. A spoiled little girl playing fairy princess in the woods. If she just settled down with someone instead of running around with married men, well, just ask Sam Kansky how much better that would have been for everyone. Wait, what? I... Oh, God. What happened between them? I, I wasn't I mean, we please. already kind of... Forget I said anything. We kind of know... Like, Tessa. You, we know, know there is whatever went on. Laura left Sam over it. But I shouldn't have said anything about that. I promised I wouldn't. I'm sorry, kids. Could have done better and did what you had to. You just tried to frame it. No, we're we're burying Tessa with it. I get I get her perspective, man. But calling child services, yo, Tessa, you're doing that thing. Okay, like I get Tessa's concern a hundred percent, but. I think the problem with Tessa is that she is pretty overbearing in other people's issues, and I think she just cares a little too much, and sometimes that's how you make really bad decisions. Um, so I think that we're just gonna really bury her in this. I'm pretty mad with her. <laughs> Typical. That was not Running her call away when to things do. get tough. I don't buy that Marianne pushed you away. You turned your back on her. She probably did And now you're making excuses, like always. You destroyed our family. You don't even have the decency to admit it. Yeah. I know I've made mistakes. All I can do now is say that I'm sorry. If I could give you back your mother, I would. I don't That's deserve That's probably your forgiveness, what tipped her over, Especially though. yours, Tyler. But if there's a place for me in your lives, I'd like to be there. I have to know something first. Are you good with who I am? You went through a very challenging time, and anyone could come out on the other side confused. There's help available out there, if you'll take it. Keep your help. So that's it, then. We're done because I believe something different than you? No. It's because you don't believe in me. I see. Then I guess there's nothing more to say. You two really are her children. Screw you. Hey, I know that was hard, but you did the right thing. No, screw Tessa. Come that on. was not hard. That was that was what she had coming for her. Okay, so I'm a little worried though because we shunned Eddie out. That was something, huh? We shunned yeah, Tessa out. Well, if you feel like saying I told you so, now's the time. Everyone in our lives back then. None of them really gave a shit about us. Sorry, I, d I didn't mean... It's okay. I trust I mean, Sam. We had to force the truth out of Eddie, too. But at least he took care of us. Okay, here's my thing. I get why you want to leave. Everything's so different. You know, a part of me really thought I'd come here and everything would be exactly the same. Ignorance is bliss, right? 
You can say that again. Why are you sitting down? I don't want to sit down. I want to leave. Here's the thing. I... Not a bad view, right? Yeah. I get now why they put cemeteries in nice spots. Takes a little bit of the sting off. Tessa, I feel, wasn't really a friend of Marianne. I feel that Eddie kind of is. But I just think that his his calf isn't on right. He's a little confused. And I think Sam, he's always stuck around and tried to help out with the house. Like, he's actually doing things that could potentially benefit us and help Marianne have a little more peace of mind. So, I don't know. I'm more inclined to trust Sam. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know yet. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Well, I don't know. this reunion's kind of gone off the rails, huh? Oh, you mean how we kind of turned Delos Crossing upside down and shook out all its nasty secrets? Yeah, but at least now we know what really happened. I can't thank you enough, by the way. Hey, brothers and sisters, right? But it's been way more brothers than sisters lately, which is why I'm trying to say thank you. You really don't have to. You saved my life, Allison. Only for you to end up locked up in fireweed for the rest of your childhood. Wait, are you still blaming yourself for that? Don't. It was my choice. It's just... I stole your life, Tyler. And then I totally wasted it. That's not true. You're on your way to Denali. Michael's gonna be a famous chef. And, and what am I doing? Nothing. Stop putting yourself down. I need time to heal. You were just dealing with what happened the way that you needed to, alright? As soon as we figure this shit out, we're gonna sell the house. And you're gonna go to Juno. You're gonna kick ass. You make it sound so easy. No. We never had a shot at easy. But we always pull through, right? Yeah. You're right. Hey. Wherever Ranger Tyler ends up next, he better come down from the hills to visit us city folk every now and then. You hear? For sure. And anyway, it's not gonna be for a while. We've got time. Oh yeah, of course. We do. So, I guess we know the story now, huh? Marianne was done with Delos, Delos was done with her. Maybe she was too proud, but... She worked so hard for so long, and when she reached the end of her rope, no one was there to help her. Not even Tessa, or Eddie. And when she heard social services was coming, she... She... Gave up. But killed her kids? Yeah, really? that's... Still feels like there's something missing. Yeah, there's definitely right? something missing. <laughs> you don't just go from the conclusion. If I can't have them, no one else can. Pow, pow. <laughs> then nothing makes sense. You're never going to understand what was going through her mind. I'll bet even she didn't. It's probably always going to feel that way. Yeah, even when you get the truth, it does probably feel that way. Is that the end of the chapter? Nope, we still got some more. Good, good. Ooh, I'm gonna fall asleep the second I hit the couch. You better rally. We still have to do some cleaning before bed. Uh, do we have to? Yeah. Hey, whoever packs the most gets the big couch tonight. What? Shit. Allison. Oh my god. I'll get the fire extinguisher. I love how she has had to say that. Like, just go freaking grab it. Well, uh, what the heck was that about? Really, Tyler? It's the mailbox thief. <laughs> Tyler, are you alright? Uh, Allison, barn. Stay there. I got it. 
Well, the people aren't gonna be happy about this. We're coming to the showing in like two days. That was definitely a real person, because I thought it'd be that like creature, the mad hunter. What if it was their mom? What if their mom isn't dead? That'd be a super big plot twist. I'd be like, wow, that's kind of effed. There, there was a, a guy. He, he smashed me in the face it of the door. It did seem like a guy. What guy? What did he look like? I'm not sure. I couldn't see straight, and, and he was all in black. God. Why would someone try to burn down our barn? Do I get I don't this know. option yet? But... I'm going to find out. I'm waiting, I'm waiting. There we hey, go. Hey, come check this out. Yeah, is what's that underneath a the box floor? under the barn? Yeah. What the hell? I think this is where the fire started. So looks like it. was trying to burn whatever's inside? We should check it out. Yes, we need I'm to know what's inside. I'm going to need to remove a few more planks to get to it. Hmm. Where could we possibly find a tool to do? Did he really have to smash everything? Yes, he did, Tyler. Where's the tool? Where's the tool? I need a tool. I need a tool. This gas can was already here this morning. Dang. He went looking under the rug? We need some tools. Asshole even dumped the drawers. What a douchebag. this place upside down. Come on, give me some tools. Let me take some tools. Wait, examine. <gasps> yes, give me the collectible. At least you were spared. Give me the collectible. Let's go. Let's go. Alright, well. Yes, here we go. Tool. Let's pry this plank up. I guess we know how he made the hole. Sam has a key, though. Makes me think it's Sam. And Sam would probably have something to hide because he's back. the only one who fine. hasn't told the whole truth yet. That's all you had to do? One plank. Well, I only know one person who'd bother to decorate a storage box like this. Yep, Marianne. Marianne. Let's open it. I sent another puzzle to open it. <laughs> Three digits. Any ideas? Mm. Marianne was never really a numbers kind of person. What's that there? Some kind of carving. Not sure what it is, though. Carving unlock. All right, we gotta go in the book of the goblins. We need to find a carving. It's Wait, like an eye. This one. Look, it's the same symbol. It's one of time in a deep keeper. voice. Well, let's see if we can find any numbers. She gets people secrets. Let's find out. Said the second. So the goblins. One. It's my phone. I can't even trail. Let me read this so you guys can see it. Do, do, do. To earn their voice. Moose sighting. Second keeper moved on. The first of the goblins said, I want to know more. So the goblins followed the secret keeper, hoping to find where she hid the secrets. He followed her to the peak of a nearby ridge and watched as she stowed the rest of the day's secrets high in a cloud. When she had gone, they climbed a high spruce tree that disappeared into the misty sky. They reached out and managed to dip their hands into the clouds. Their heads were filled with memories, and they snatched their heads back. Tears poured. That's how the secret keeper found them crying in the tree. So my secrets. Give them back. I will give you back the silver-handled hand brush. Hairbrush. Offered the secret keepers for so many secrets. More than that. Back the secrets that they'd taken, run back into the big wooden house. There they found the princess preparing food. They tried to peer into her mind, but they found it was blank. They tried to speak, but she could not hear them. It seemed the secret keeper was craftier than the crafty goblins. Okay, well, I don't see any numbers in this. Um, let me try the book. Because maybe the book has a number written somewhere. Lines moved on. The first goblin said, I want to know more. Let's buy it. So the goblins approached the secret keeper before she could stow it away. Moose's secret. And guess who's Moose's? Pulling 
Herz. I, I still don't know the number. One, two, three. That wasn't it. <laughs> I think we just need to break the lock. There must be something in here we can use to get it open. I honestly am okay with breaking the lock. I don't want to solve this. Gathering up secrets that the animals of the forest had for sale. Let's find out. So the second, so the goblins watch the secret keeper. Came to her. Head hanging low. It's my fault. I chose the uneven trail. I can't bear to remember. Though the goblins couldn't hear anything, they knew she was speaking to the moose for the secret keeper spoke in people's minds with the gift of a voice. Oh, so Mary Ann had the gift of a voice as well. Uh, after a few minutes, he blinked. I feel lighter. Did I just give you something? Not in giving him a coin. Plotted along down the trail, hiding in the woods and narrowed his eyes, for he knew the goblins were often up to mischief. Two goblins it was forced to carry on. Obviously, nothing bad. Probably without destroying the box. Uh, I think. I'm not gonna lie. I really do want to break it, but we're gonna try to solve this. All right. Something about. Something about like coins and running along. Something in the house, even. Work boot. Maybe fishing boots? Sounds like Sam. Oh, we can follow him. Damn. He ran straight for it. No stops, no turns. He was on a mission. Trail ends here. Hey, are there footsteps on the other side? Yeah. That must be where he climbed out. Well, he's long gone. Well, now I can go down here. This is a new place we haven't discovered. Hey, what are you doing? I thought there'd be like a coin or something here. Uh, I'm looking for clues. I'm just wandering around aimlessly. <laughs> Still no sign of him. Are we looking for him? I didn't think about that. We could just look for the guy. <laughs> Let's go look for Sam. Just like we left it. Crap. The game won't let me chase after him. Gosh dang it. I'm gonna have to pry this open. So they won't let me go into the house, will they? Yeah, they Nothing's been forced open. So he didn't try to get into the house at all. Which is odd. It's a very specific. Okay, so I'm just gonna break this open. <laughs> I can't. I don't know the code. I thought. Well, at least he left us the junker. Oh, great. More to clean. So, did Chief Brown teach you how to put out a fire? Nope. I taught myself. Hey. Doesn't that carving look like the secret keeper from the Book of Goblins? How do I unlock this? I think we just need to break the lock. There must be something in here we can use to get it open. Preferably without destroying the box. I mean, I see a little axe near us, right next to us. Right, let me find something to break this box. Not a gas can, that won't help. We'll take, let's go. Yes, easy answers. I'm yeah, never gonna find that code. That'll break a lock. Bring it on. Let's not waste time. Yeah, screw that. I'm not a time waster. It 
It's in there. Guessing she didn't know how much of an ass he'd turn out to be. Dear Marianne, I need to see you again. I know how that sounds, and I don't want you to think I chase after all the new girls in Della's Crossing. I've always taken my vows seriously, but something changed when I met you. When we were together, I feel like I'm doing 80 down a highway with my lights off, and I never want to stop. I know it isn't right, and we both have a lot to lose, but I need to be with you again. I hope you feel the same, heart <laughs> Uh I bought you a little something for next time. I can't wait to see how it looks on you. about this one. Marianne, I'm sorry you're in this situation. I know you feel you'd make a great mother, and this, I don't doubt you will someday, but to right, now to get we have, right now we have to be to sure us. that we won't ruin three lives. My marriage hasn't been happy for some time, but she doesn't deserve this, but mostly I'm worried about you. People here talk, and I don't want you to have to go through that. I know money has just been tight, but I'll do what I can to help you through the right thing. Just let me know how much you need. So Sam is our dad. Pretty sure. I mean, I did say that. It's obvious, right? That's everything. What the hell? So, Marianne hid a box under the barn. A box full of letters from our deadbeat dad. He came for these letters. He was wearing fishing gear. He knew where to look. Yeah, who would know where to look? It didn't look? look like he tried to get into the house. Yeah, he knew to look in the barn. He must have known they were there. Or just knew our mother really well. So, I... I think he was wearing fishing gear. Fishing gear? Does that mean... Let's not jump to any conclusions. Half the town's probably got the same gear. Why did we look off like that? There's the memory. Allison! Allison! Why are we saying this? I don't know about you, but I haven't forgotten anything about that. I would have said the same thing, but something felt different. I need to do that. Now we can go to the fishing boat place, right? The Mad Hunter! I don't know why, but like it's not showing up. There we go. Allison had to be nearby. The Mad Hunter! Wait, there was someone here that night? Yes. No, it was just I, s I saw. Who the hell did I actually see? Any reason to go out there, Allison? I'm trying to find our memory. our memory. Here it is. Oh, it's probably at the bench, right? Where the heck is it? Was the mad hunter what what are you talking about at night i thought i saw the mad hunter in the woods but i guess it was just some asshole some asshole who just fucking stood there and watched while our mother chased me with a shotgun do you think it was the same guy maybe i mean it had to be him right they were wearing the same fishing gear yeah unless everyone who wants to mess with us is coordinating outfits and wait, <laughs> he was here once before, wasn't he? Yeah, he came in a the A few days door. before Marianne died? 
Maybe? Hold on. Do you feel that? Tyler, not there. Our mother fought with someone on the dock, about us. We need to know if it was the same guy. But what if it's not that memory? What if it's... I can't go through that again. We have to take that chance. But do we really? I mean, someone yes. just tried to burn our barn down. Yeah, and that means we've got to be close to something. Yeah. I'm not going on that dock. Oh my god, Allison, stop. Oh, should I guilt trip her? No, no, that's not Tyler. Just He's not a guilt tripper. One more time, please. There's always just one more. Every time it seems like we're done with this, something new pops up. What if this is the only chance to figure out who our father is? Then we go on living our lives without him, just like we always have. Come on, we need to know the truth. For her. What if I don't want to know the truth, huh? Did you ever consider that? No. You just push and push and... You have to take responsibility for your part in Marianne's death. Oh. What? How can you say that to me? I didn't. But I, I did, right? Earlier, to Eddie. But I, I swear, I didn't just say that to you. So we can't even trust our own voices now? God. I don't know. I just freaked up. I just freaked Allison. up. I just freaked up. I just freaked up. Oh my Let's god. Go. Oh my god. Oh my god. How the hell did I not freak up? Wow, I thought I freaked up. What? Why can't we remember? We can do it. Come on, we got this, we got this, we got this. Oh my god, that's difficult. Ouch! Watch it! You're stepping on my foot! Can you hear what they're saying? Quiet! We don't want mom to catch us out of bed. I've just been trying to survive. If you want to make sure I don't get desperate, you could help us out. Lend me some money. What happened? Why did it stop? I can't, Tyler. But we were so damn close. Come on, just push a little more, Allison. Just a little more. Just a little more, okay? I'm sorry, but I'm done. Of course you are, Allison. That's it? You're just giving up, just like that? You can't do this. We owe her. Marianne is gone, Tyler. And nothing we do is gonna change that. Don't go, please. You can't keep running from this alley, or it's only gonna get worse. Allison, I don't like you. <laughs> Ouch! Watch it! You're stepping on my foot! Can you hear what they're saying? Quiet! We don't want Mom to catch us out of bed. There's no money. I never asked you for anything. 
but right now they well, need was you. in a boat. I was, cause I saw that and I was like, I've got everything I need to, to nail water. your ass in that barn. And just what do you think happens after that? <sighs> what do you mean? We don't know this well, voice. If those kids have a father, do you really think there's a court out there that will let you keep them? No, you have no claim to my children. Get the hell off my property, now! If you ever come back here, I'm going to kill you! Allison? She wasn't trying to kill us, she was trying to kill him. I'm going to kill you. No, no, no. The story is so... Uh, crazy. Holy shit. I don't even know how to... Uh, damn, right? I, I don't know how I feel. I... <laughs> Tyler fell... Uh, Allison discarded his feelings when choosing her memory at the house. 57 chose Tyler's memory. 43% chose Allison. Uh, I think I chose Allison's. Um, Tyler didn't feel hurt about needing time when Allison accepted the house showing. 65% refused the appointment, bro. Money, you gotta, you gotta show the house, man. Like, everybody who comes in, they might, they might not even be interested. It doesn't mean we're giving it away right now. Allison felt let down and Tyler couldn't forgive Teddy. 81% forgave, I said Teddy. <laughs> Sound like I said Teddy. Uh, when they couldn't forgive Eddie. Uh, eighty one percent forgave Eddie. I didn't forgive him. Man, I really made a lot of choices people did not do. Eddie was sorry that Tyler couldn't forgive him. Yeah, he he did feel a little sad. Uh, Michael was heartened by Tyler's compliment. Uh accepted Michael's compliment. Nice. Okay, well, everybody likes Michael, I guess. Tessa felt rejected by the twins. 81% forgave Tessa. 19% didn't forgive Tessa. Why would you forgive Tessa? Why? I can I can see why people would forgive Teddy. But Tessa? No. I don't get that. Why are people so forgiving in this game? <laughs> okay, okay, y'all. Oh my goodness. Alright, chapter 3 is next. But that is for next Monday. So we're going to end stream here. But yeah, um, I hope you all have a good one. I'm tired. I'm going to go s either nap or play Lotro or pack. I don't know. But go say hi to Kelly. Thanks, everyone. See you later. Bye. <laughs>